guys welcome back to my channel so if you want to see how i did this look keep on watching this is the look you guys are going to use when quarantine is over and you guys want to go party and go to the club y so if you want to see how i did this look with bronze glitter keep on watching so let me tell you guys that this is round two of me filming this because I started filming and I did not like the choice of shades that I picked for my eyes and not only that that video was gonna be in Spanish and then I'm like you know what F this I'm just gonna do a video in English because when it's in Spanish I feel like I'm a little bit slower at doing it don't get me wrong like I know Spanish it's just that there's like certain words I don't know like certain parts of the eye that I don't know and I just sound like dumb as heck so we're starting over from scratch um so if my eyes already look a little bit weird i am sorry about that sorry for you that you have to see me looking like it like that but anyways i am going to use these little pads that i got off of amazon a while ago i really don't like using them to be honest but we're gonna use them today and i'm just gonna put them under my eye just because i'm gonna be using glitter and i don't want the glitter to fall all onto my face like I already did but yeah and if you guys hear anything in the background it is my baby boy Jaden he was trying to take a nap and I think he don't want to take a nap anymore and okay so I did do like a little pool thing whatever it's called on Instagram and I said silver gold or bronze we're gonna go with bronze because that's what people voted for bronze and so like i checked it again before i started over at first so, shoot, no, whatever. silver was winning and then i checked again and i'm like bronze and i'm like you know what new video new look different glitter so we're gonna go with this and you know let's compare these palettes i really like how the new palette has all the names on there and the old one is on the back so Girl, I am not gonna be looking on the back of this palette to tell you guys the shades. But that's what I like about the new one. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. And don't mind my dirty a palette. So very dirty. And I am going to put that shade all over the crease. So let's do that. Make sure it's blended on there, honey. How is everybody doing? So I like curled my hair and then just put a bun. I don't know. I really don't know what I was going for, but you know, vibes. So guys, I like really wanna keep filming more and more. Um, I'm working on getting a better background because like the background I have is so sh poopy like i freaking hate it it's either like my closet or just like a plain white and it's just so annoying like i want a pretty background and don't say like oh um you should probably get a uh, what's it called a backdrop i do have one and it just didn't work out i don't like it i have a small as room because i live in an apartment so my room is super small and i don't think it fits like i barely fit what's already in here and Jaden's bed is in here too so we have his gamma our gamma my vanity the tv like a whole bunch of stuff so we're definitely outgrowing this apartment but so i'm still using the same shade just building it up a little bit i am going to use this shade right here next and i'm gonna do it a little bit below that well it's gonna be a mixture of this one these two so these two my allergies really been kicking in and i just freaking hate it i was just jamming out to freaking like old reggaeton like that's the best so that's just gonna go like right here and i'm just adding more depth 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 to it 
little by little. So let's just go here. Then I'll go back with the other one and blend it out. So everything I do to this eye, I'm going to do to this eye as well. I'm going to try to film as much as I can because why the heck not? Now I am going to go in with a darker brown and it's going to be this brown down here. So let's go in with that one. And I'm going to start that right here. So I'm going to do like a half cut crease. Just because I like them way more than like a full cut crease with glitter. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like the full, but I feel like these are a little better. And it's uh -oh. easier to do. Mama! No! I'm going to grab a clean brush and start blending that. You don't want to put too much pressure. Like just softly. And blending will literally be the key to all your problems. Not literally, but, but literally. Now I'm going in with the first shade. So I literally, why do I keep saying literally, what the heck? I just go back and forth between all the shades until I get my eyeshadow like how I want it. I guess I'm so bad at explaining things. But. to go in with some concealer and I'm going to be using this ColourPop concealer and I need to buy like a little espejito because the one I have because I still have it I just don't use it because my friend said that it looks like a viejita mirror so we ain't gonna be using the freaking viejita mirror so I have to order one sometime soon I'm gonna be using this little tiny brochecita Y'all, I'm scared. So I'm gonna put this right here. Be very careful to cook these. It's so easy to mess up. So I'm going to go ahead and dump a little bit out. I always do it like on a palette or something. Whatever is by me. I don't do it straight on the desk because this glitter stays on there like forever. I'm going to be using this NYX glitter primer. And I absolutely love it because it works super good. And I just put some on the back of my hand. And then I cleaned off that brush I was using, and I'm using the same one, obviously. And I'm gonna go over the concealer. It's, now I'm gonna go ahead with the glitter. I cleaned, I used the same brush and I cleaned it off. And I'm gonna start putting glitter. So the point of me putting concealer on is just so that I know where I want to put my glitter. You necessarily don't have to put the 
concealer on there, but it does help me. I'm sorry, guys. That is Juden in the background. And then at the end, like right here, I don't like it looking like a straight line. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit randomly and then grab glitter and randomly put it like right there. So, there we have it. Now let's go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, put that on there. guys if you are this far into my video do not forget to subscribe to my channel um it's super easy i had a glitter super easy and it's free so it costs nothing to support me and apoyarme so please subscribe to my channel and help a girl out I'm gonna go ahead and put glitter on this eye. Aquí llegó tu tiburón. Yo quiero I don't know what that was about. I had a little moment. It's so weird, like doing my makeup. I like doing my makeup with music, but I really don't know how copyright stuff works. Call me dumb, whatever you wanna call me, but I don't know. Shit, someone's knocking. It's probably my man's. Fabian lost um his one of his keys, so he was a knocking. We're doing the same thing to this hole. Fabian was like, "Where are you going?" I'm like, "To the club." What do you mean, where? No. This how you guys have to practice this look for when quarantine's over. You guys can go party. So that's the glitter part. Dude, what's up with all these interruptions? Let me find out you guys don't want me to post a video. I actually really, really, really liked having my eyelash extensions, having eyelash ex extensions. I, it was the first time I had them on. I don't think I actually really re like recorded with having them on. But I really liked it because I feel like no me miraba freaking pelona 24-7. So, I mean, my I do have eyelashes, but obviously they're not as bold as eyelash, like, eyelash extensions. So, oh, that's why I really like them. But, I think I'm definitely going to get them a we have to be positive because it's called the law of attraction. So if you guys think positive things, positive things will happen. If you're always negative, negative things are gonna happen because you're attracting it. makeup makes me realize how much I miss getting ready and doing my hair and whatnot I have to admit oh shoot after I had Jaden I kind of I just stopped doing my makeup and hair and I don't know I'm sure it happens to a lot of people and it's been two years and I'm just now like oh look let me do my makeup and I don't even be wanting to sometimes. I just be so out of it. And I honestly make up excuses like, oh no, I don't have time. But I mean, there's time for everything. If you make time for something, there's time for it. Like that hour that you're there sitting on your phone, you could obviously be doing something else. Or that hour that you're taking a nap could be used for something else. But there's time for everything if you make time for it. But nowadays, all we could do is make excuses. But no more excuses. I'm going to 
try my best to be the best I can be. Alright, so let's go ahead and take these. Oh my god. That's why I don't like them. They pull on your skin way too much. So when you pull these off, like pull up because you don't want to pull down ever on your skin. Always up. So now I'm going to go ahead and just wipe my face. I am going to moisturize my face with the Neutrogena. Neutra what the hell? With the Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. I am using the e.l.f. primer. I'm going to go ahead and put on foundation and I'm going to use this one. If you guys remember this foundation, I used it in a video that was using all Dollar General products. So this is from Dollar General and I actually really freaking like it. It covers all your imperfections. Let's see this. Um, really good. And the one that I do have, I have to go out and buy foundation because... Well, I can't go out anyways right now, but I was trying to order some online But when I read reviews a lot of foundations say like oh, this is not the right shade Like this came out really orange. I matched myself online blah 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 And I do not want to keep buying foundations that are not my freaking shade because it's really making me mad But this is the foundation I usually use and I feel like it's muy blanquita like too pale and this one I feel like is perfect so we are going to go with this one and i actually really started to like it so if you are on a budget and want to get a cheaper foundation this is a really good foundation so yeah and i'm gonna go in this is a real technique beauty blender um i really like these beauty blenders i've never really tried other brands except for like those that are one and stuff so yeah so I'm gonna put poquito, like two drops, cause a little bit goes a long way. Okay, I'm gonna start dabbing it into my skin. I always start like, a, like right here underneath my eye, and I start working my way down. put on some concealer and I'm going to be using the color pop concealer once again and I'm gonna just do a couple little dots because it is super white I don't know if I told you guys already but I did wet my um, sponge before I started applying my foundation and whatnot so just you know my sponge it was wet I don't remember if I mentioned it or not. But I have a question, guys. So, every time I want to record, like, everything wants to go wrong. Like, what in the world is happening? What? Like, tell me, universe. Tell me what the heck is happening. Why don't you want me to do my makeup? I, like, really don't know why my makeup doesn't want to cooperate today, but... We're gonna make it work because the I'm posting a video. I'm freaking posting a video. I did not sit here for a long time for me not to freaking post a video today. Well, I'm probably gonna post it tomorrow. I kind of messed up my eyeshadow. I'm not gonna lie. Right here. But I'm not too worried about it because it doesn't look bad. So I'm going to go ahead and put concealer under this eye. So with the rest of the concealer, I don't add no more, but I'm just, I just like dab it around like certain areas. And yeah, so now we are going to bake our face. To bake my face, I'm actually going to use the Becca 
um translucent powder it's so ugly but it's becca and i'm actually gonna warn you guys this translucent powder i feel like it does have flashbacks so i wouldn't recommend using it if you're gonna be taking like pictures with flash but i like i really do like it but since i'm not going anywhere and i'm not gonna be taking no pictures with flash that's why i'm using it but i've used it like before and i really loved it until i realized that it does give you a flashback and i know nobody wants to be like flashback mary so just a warning it feels super good when you put it on because it's like it feels moist but maybe i'm using it wrong no idea you'll hear my child trying to break it he's trying to break in hi hi what are you doing oh okay so he's in here now so i'm gonna what jaden yeah so I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and I'm gonna grab some. Close the door when you get Bye. out. Bye! Thank you! So I'm going to pat this, pat this in until it disappears. I don't like doing like a whole line and then wiping it off because sometimes when you do that, it wipes your makeup underneath and it just looks really weird. I don't know maybe it's just me but my preference is just dabbing dabbing it in so i'm going to dab it in until it disappears the hula by benefits bronzer and i absolutely love i just washed my brushes and i have like cheated i have so many brushes that i couldn't use but i just Mommy. love this brush and it's 126 by bh cosmetics and here comes Jaden again hi Jaden, you're back <laughs> I am going to start up here and start bronzing it up. I like bronzing my face. Like, make your forehead a little smaller if you have a big one like me. And then I come all the way down. And then you want to make sure that you're like defining the cheekbone and not like bringing it down. And because then it'll look like droopy, so. this Jaclyn Hill JH32 Morphe brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit and contour my nose I don't contour my nose a lot because I don't know I don't know how to do it like perfect so I know how to do it more best believe I'd be contouring it more but practice makes perfect So I'm using the Lara Geller New York um, blush. I actually really do like blush. A lot of people are scared to use blush, but you really shouldn't be scared because it makes your face pop more. So now, I don't know which one should I use. I love them both equally. We're going to go with a Kylie... 
Cosmetics one in the Ice Me Out. I've used this in a few of my videos as well. I really like this highlight because it's popping. Like, look, you can already see that. Because I'm like obsessed with this one. I don't know why, but I'm going to buy more and probably use the other ones I have because I pay more attention to this one than any other one. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Okay, now with the same brown shade that I used. And I am going to put it underneath my eye. I'm going to grab this little brush. I do not know where it's from because it faded away. But <laughs> oh my god, she's still trying to get in. I'm gonna use this highlight and put some in my inner corner. What the heck? I'm starving. And I'm gonna put a little bit up here. I'm going to put on some mascara, and the mascara I have is from Mexico. I'm sure it's like in certain places you can find it. I'm sh I'm sure I've said this before, and I really like this mascara. So now it's time for lips and I'm actually just going to use this lip pencil by MAC D Dervish and this is the shade and I'm just going to put that all over my lips. So when I don't want to do nothing too major with my lips, I just use the lip liner and now I'm gonna hit some chapstick over it. So yeah, this is the final look. So you guys are ready to go to the club and party because oh wait, we're on quarantine. So you guys are gonna go party in your living rooms like this, and then the hair I did, so I just curled my hair with the wand. The ones that you can buy literally at Target, Ulta, whatever. And it's like thick and then it goes to smaller. So I curled my whole hair and then I just put my hair in the ponytail and then I grabbed, wrapped it around, put a bun, and left these two pieces out. And yeah, so these are vibes. Peace. Thank you to everybody who watches my videos subscribe to my channel i love you all thank you for all your support i really appreciate it let me know what kind of videos you want to watch next so yeah bye